Hey guys, what's up? This is Play Bananas. Welcome to another uh, video. In this video, we're gonna showcase a team um, that I really enjoy playing when I wasn't streaming. Um, consisting of Empoleon, of course, because Empoleon is just one of my favorite Pokemon to run in Great League. Um, so we have Pelipper lead, um, Vigoroth as a safe swap, and Empoleon as a finisher. So this team has a very simple idea, right? You have a Pelipper to handle the fighters, and then you have Vigoroth to draw out the fighters. And uh, sometimes you could even uh, take switch advantage with the Vigoroth. But um, you definitely want to see the fighter with the Pelipper. Um, so that your Empoleon can finish um, the end game. Um, and also, as you may have noticed, uh, we have two water type Pokemon. We have one in the lead and one as a finisher. But fortunately, Pelipper does have the uh, the flying fast move wind attack and the charge move hurricane to hit back against the grass type Pokemon. Um, and without further ado, let's get into the battles. I really enjoy this team. Uh, it's very spammy. It's got a very strong lead. All right, so this game we hit a very good lead against the Swampert. Uh, obviously, we're gonna stay in. I'm gonna throw when they get to the Sludge Wave, which is here. I want to see if they want to shield. If they decide to shield. Um, I may uh, shield and then actually I'm gonna shield regardless because then in shield what I recognize is that I can probably farm down before they get to the next sludge wave depending on if they throw their energy so because they throw energy here I know that this is gonna be a hydro cannon which means I could tank it if they build up to seven um, then I would have um, maybe thrown my weather ball to force a shield but I like to shield first in that matchup uh, just to come out with a lot of energy. So here we have almost three weather balls already. I'm gonna hit the Skarmory with one weather ball, two weather balls here. Um, and I believe I'm gonna hit it with the third weather ball right here. Yep. And now he's gonna be really, really low, right? I actually wanna build up a little bit more energy uh, before swapping out. Hopefully that I can snipe it down with my counter. So I do snipe down the Skarmory with uh, my Vigoroth with one counter and my opponent leaves the match which, which makes me think they probably have a Vigoroth of their own um, and then the game will be very tough for my opponent right so all right next game we have Pelipper against the Marowak again very good lead my opponent makes a really really good play here um, catching my weather ball it's not the worst thing though because uh, we could farm a lot of energy before swapping out also we do have two counters to the Marowak um, so switch advantage is not even important for us. Um, so I'm going to come out with the Vigoroth because Vigoroth has a terrible matchup against Marowak. What I want to do here is um, hopefully get shields. If we have shield advantage, then we have two Pokemon in the back that can absolutely handle uh, the Marowak, right? Let's see what I do here. Uh, I'm going to go for a Body Slam here. Uh, my opponent shields. That is perfect. I'm just going to let this go. Um... I think I should make a misplay later on, but here I'm just going to let it go. I take the shield advantage. I'm going to throw my weather ball here uh, just to put the uh, um, Azumarill in farm down range. So it's almost in farm down range. Unfortunately, my opponent gets to another ice beam, so I actually do have to shield here to preserve my health. It was a play rough, so we definitely needed to shield there. But we do have a lot of energy. Here I make a huge misplay. Um, I saw a grass type Pokemon uh, coming out. I should not have thrown the Hurricane. Um, but this is fine because we should theoretically still get to two Hurricanes before they get to two Frenzy Plants here. Because we did have a Hurricane build up already. And then my opponent makes an amazing swap here. Into the Lone Marowak. And I make a mis misplay here by charging too much. I should charge like maybe half so that I can farm down with my Empoleon. But fortunately, we could still get two waterfalls worth of farm, I think. Yep. And now my opponent can't really over farm. He, and we actually got to the drill pack just in time. I think my opponent had the energy for one frenzy plant. But if they threw right away, uh, if they threw right away, then um, we're going to win. We're going to outpace to the weather ball. So we're going to win that game anyways. But we were able to take that win with the drill pack. I'm sorry the video got cut out there for, uh, for a little bit. There was some error. Alright, here, Pelipper mirror, lead, pe mirror Leads. I like to go for Hurricane straight away. Uh, my opponent makes a perfect catch again. It, just, it looks like we're being uh, um, hit with all these uh, catches. Uh, so here, I'm just going to stay. I'm going to farm up all the energy that I lost. Because I know that my Pelipper survives whatever they throw at us. Uh, I just want to come out of this saving a lot of energy without Pelipper. Uh, I want to have at least one Weather Ball, I think. That was my goal. 
And I actually think they could have another Steel type Pokemon in the back, uh, because they aggressively swapped out so early on um, into their own Steel type. So I'm thinking they might have another Steel type Pokemon in the back, um, which means that I wanted to preserve my Pelipper because that Steel type Pokemon is most likely to be a Galarian Stunfisk, right? So they do come out with their own uh, Pelipper. They have a ton of energy. I did press on my um, Body Slam right away because I want to force shields from my opponent Pelipper. I'm gonna get get off this uh, uh, Body Slam as well. Uh, my opponent has to throw some energy in order to take the, uh, take down our uh, Vigoroth. My opponent throws here, which is very smart um, because we're very close to our next Body Slam. And my opponent actually threw twice because I think he miscounted. He thought that we had a body slam here as well. So that is absolutely perfect for me uh, because then I could farm down with my Empoleon. But to be completely honest, uh, my Empoleon probably could tank a weather ball anyways. So I don't think it mattered that much. We're going to outpace to the uh, um, Hydro Cannon compared to the EQ from Galarian Stunfisk. And we have a weather ball stored. This is where the, the stored weather ball came... Uh, Came super handy here. We're able to throw this uh, Weather Ball. It doesn't matter how much energy the Pelipper has in the back. It's not going to be able to take down our Empoleon. And we're actually simultaneously KO each other with our Pelippers. Alright, next up we have Pelipper versus Gliscor. This is a very interesting matchup. But my opponent swaps out right away. Which is also very interesting. Um, I don't have a perfect answer to this um, Frostlass. So I think I want to chip it down. My opponent doesn't shield. I will have to shield the first one, I think. Uh, it does do a lot of damage. What I'm going to do is farm up 6 uh, wing attacks, which is when they get to the next avalanche, and I'm going to try to catch it on my Empoleon. This is very important because uh, it's double resisted, so it's essentially wasted energy from the Frostlass. Um, our Empoleon still has a ton of health. It gets a little bit jump start with energy, but my opponent has a Lantern in the back. This is not great. Lantern is definitely um, a hard core breaker for my team. It beats my Pelipper super hard. It beats my Empoleon super hard. Um, all I can do is try to chip down this Lantern as much as I can. Fortunately, we got to two Hydro Cannons here. And it was actually a CMP tie. So that was the best case scenario for us. So now they don't have as much energy on the Lantern. Um, I think I come out with Vigoroth. I need to save a shield for my, Vigor uh, for my Pelipper. Uh, to for the matchup against uh, the glide score in the back, I could tank a hydro pump no problem. I save a weather ball, uh, I save a body slam in the back on my um, Vigoroth, and I had tons of energy on my Pelipper, so I get off two weather balls even before they get off one nice slash here, and I definitely outplace them to the next one because we had a jump start in energy. Uh, we got off two shields with our two weather balls, and now we just need one more uh, weather ball right here. And uh, to take down this Glide score, we still have a body slam stored. Um, their lantern will come back and farm us down, but we do win CMP with Vigoroth against lantern, so my opponent recognizes that and uh, decides to leave the match. As you guys saw there, we actually got a 5 0 uh, in the first set that we play with this team. I think we climbed up to around 30, 69 MMR, and then I couldn't really find matches. I only played two sets. I couldn't find any matches, so I decided to um, stop playing after that. But uh, if I could get more match, I'll definitely showcase more battles with this team. Here we're against Metacham. Um, I anticipated the swap uh, that they were going to try to catch a move or something. So I held on to my energy. Um, they came in with the uh, Umbreon. I think I make a misplay this game. It looks like I should have won this game for sure because now it looks like we had a really good lead, right? We have a really good uh, swapping here uh, against this, this Umbreon. Let's see, I definitely make a huge misplay as you guys are going to see. Um, okay, so I need to maintain switch advantage, right? Um, I'm thinking that I may have to give up a, a, a shield. I should definitely throw my weather ball there in order to chip down this Umbreon because now I have to give a shield to maintain switch advantage. If I just chip down this uh, Umbreon with the weather ball, then this would, would, uh, uh, would not have happened. But now we're down a shield. We did uh, maintain switch advantage, so that is still important. But it would be so much better if we um, chip down and still have a shield remaining with our Pelipper. But this is totally fine. We're going to go for this uh, weather ball. 
to almost take out the Medicham. Um, I'm not going to shield. I'm already down a shield, right? I anticipate a Psychic, but it was actually a, an Ice Punch, which we definitely tanks. And then we farm down. It's looking really good. We have so much energy on, on our Palipper, but I make a huge misplay. Um, I go for the first Weather Ball. I may go for... Okay, yeah. I should have built up to uh, the Hurricane before throwing here because my opponent definitely knows this is just another Weather Ball. And I go into my Empoleon and I have to call the Earthquake correctly. And I don't call it correctly, so my Empoleon goes down for free. My Empoleon basically did nothing there, got absolutely destroyed <laughs> by this uh, opponent to Politoed. And now my Pelipper does not have enough firepower um, to take down this opponent. Uh, Politoed. So unfortunately, we're gonna take an L here, uh, but it's fine. We definitely made some mis uh, misplays, um, which happens a lot. Um, but we need to learn from these uh, mistakes, and then we're gonna improve the next time we play against same similar people, right? Okay, so Pelipper mirror matchup. I like to go for the Hurricane right away, like I've said before. Um, last time, my opponent made a perfect catch. But this time we're able to get to the hurricane. I know I like to go for hurricane right away because I know my Pelipper wins CMP every time. My opponent actually didn't shield, so that's perfect for me. Uh, they have a Stunfisk in the back. Uh, I'm gonna, I have two counters in the back, and Pelipper is also pretty good against it. But I just want to bait out a fighter in case they had one. And they had a fighter, so this is a prime example of this team. If you win the lead, you still want to swap out. Because you can bait out that fighter. If you don't bait out this fighter, then uh, this uh, Metacham here will probably sweep my entire team. But fortunately, we did bait it out. That means we can get to this Weather Ball safely. Uh, we could take out this Metacham just with our Pelipper in this case. Uh, we, get, we got another shield. So now we're at even shields. I'm going to match the shields. It's just a nice punch. I don't need to shield it. And I think I can farm this down. They actually get to another move, but I know this is a nice punch, so I'm not worried about this. I do tank it, and then um, I get off one weather ball. My opponent has to shield this, or it's going to almost uh, take out the stun fisk. So now I just need to get to a hydro cannon on my Empoleon. My opponent does not have enough energy to get to an earthquake and a um, rock slide bait. So it doesn't matter if my opponent baits me here. I'm going to get off this uh, hydro cannon. And then I think one more waterfall will take out my opponent to win this game. So yeah, as you guys see um, in the lead matchup, because I recognize that I win CMP, I'm going to get a shield or I'm going to win switch advantage, right? I'm just going to take it out. Okay, so this is a terrible matchup. I have to swap out right away into Vigoroth. Um, they came out with a Sableye, which is not the match, the worst matchup for Vigoroth. If they don't shield this, I could actually win back switch advantage. So I think it's very likely my opponent shields. My opponent does shield uh, the Bodos, which is totally fine by me. Um, that means I'm uh, I'm up a shield, and up a shield with Empoleon. If they don't have a fighter in the back, we could definitely sweep with our Empoleon. Let's see. So they go for another foul play. Now they're pretty much out of energy, uh, which means we should outpace to the Weather Ball here against their Sableye, and we should be able to take out the Sableye. So Pelipper is so spammy here. I absolutely love it. I make a huge misplay here. I should swap out right away instead of just letting my Pelipper uh, getting taken out here for nothing. So now I go into my Empoleon. They have a Pelipper of their own. Um, now this game is going to come down to the wires. It's very, very dangerous. I only have one Empoleon, but I do have a shield remaining. I know that if I can farm down this uh, Pelipper with two Hydro Cannons worth of energy, I could maybe take out the Mel Metal with uh, this uh, Empoleon. Uh, I had to call the bait, uh, the Weather Ball, because if I two shield the Weather Balls, they can just go for a Hurricane to take out my Empoleon. So I no-shielded the first Weather Ball. Um, they go for another one. I have to shield this one. If this is a Hurricane and we don't shield, we get taken out. But it's most likely a Weather Ball. We still have to shield. And I think I have to shield this one as well. Fortunately, we got an extra waterfall through. I think that one was actually huge because my opponent swaps here. And we're only in three waterfalls away to get to the uh, Hydro Cannon here, which is just one turn, one Thunder Shock away before my opponent gets to the superpower. And then I can just waterfall down this Pelipper. And we're able to take the Winder. 
Oops, I'm sorry about the leaderboard ranking here. It's not supposed to be there, but that was my season six highest ranking. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a quick one because we didn't uh, we didn't get the queue time to do as much battles as we wanted. Um, it's still a lot of fun. Uh, I absolutely love this team. Uh, it's very spammy. You have a very nice safe swap, and the team composition makes sense because you just bait out um, a fighter with a Vigoroth. And then let the star of the show, which is Empoleon, to finish off the end game. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.